We've been passing, anyway, while I've been prosing on about why we should be interested in, in this place, we've been passing all sorts of interesting little shops and businesses. This, I think, is a kind of cinema, isn't it, Edora? What? It's a uh, video room. Lots of people like watching DVD together. Can we? Do you think we could just go in and let's have a try? Have a try. Yeah. We won't interrupt. But perhaps if we can get a look through. Well, we're not going in. We just want to look through the door. Uh huh. So what? Ah, uh, 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 very nice. She just called lots of migrant workers to have their evening entertainment. So these are all migrant workers, are they from that's the outside? Right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, just they are small theatre. Yes, okay. Can you thank him for letting us see? Oh, this is what's showing. Yeah. Yes, yes. So one of the things I've noticed in this, uh, in this street is the most extraordinary amounts and varieties of of food. This actually looks pretty mild compared with some of the things I hope we'll see on the way down, but uh, this, is, this is really not much more than vegetables and a bit of, a bit of spices. But uh, it, it is extraordinary and there's lots of things I've never seen before. What's this? What's this stuff? This is the blood. I think it is it's a pork blood. But it's good for like, you know, if you cook a hot pot, you put it in and it's very nutritious. I hear what you say. I'm not sure I should be sampling that. What is it, pig's blood or? Yeah, pig's blood. Now we've got some dumplings here. This, uh, you could have a complete meal down the 18 steps. And I just want to reiterate that within a matter of months, this will all be gone. Nobody gets a chance to complain, of course, or to, uh, to put in any kind of bid to keep it uh, as it is. And within two, three years, I suppose there'll be vast, great buildings. I mean, look, you can see rather, rather tatty, actually, block of flats there. And I imagine that there'll be rather tatty blocks of flats here. And I don't think this is going to be a business area, of the sort of grandeur of some of the rest of... Of the of the city, but look at these beautiful things. The couple with their child just doing homework. Oh yeah, so there's a kid doing his homework. Niha. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the homework. There's his dad doing the doing the dough, and here's his mother trying to sell them and keep the flies off. What what are these little things here? Um, Hey, it's a special steamed dumplings here with uh, like this is like with meat inside. I see. What are they? What are you and your husband and your little boy going to do when they knock all this down? This place will be chopped down. Chopped down. After that, what do you do? We will go to the Then we find another place to live. But will the will the government help you to find another place? <laughs> it's hard to say it's too early to, to say that. We just need to wait. It's not that early, actually. It's going to happen quite soon. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Do you think they're gambling? Probably a small amount of money. Because you're not we're allowed not to gamble, gamble, are you? That's I, right. no, no. I think yeah, people yeah. might not. Can we. Uh, people playing it for fun. Can we film? Yeah, uh, anyhow, yeah, okay. go That's good. And what what are they playing? Do you know? Oh, that, oh, that okay. It's just like a four person a simple, you know, card game. And so like we you know, play some uh, a little bit, you know, like money to just make fun. 
Yeah, just for fun. Okay. Who's got the most money? He's got the most money. 谁赢了？谁赢了？ He hasn't got any. Yeah. Right now, so now we're coming down. This is almost the end of the 18 steps. It's got another reason why、uh, it's attractive to me, at any rate. There's a man、uh, in the middle of the century called Joseph Needham,、uh, an Englishman,、uh, who was very、uh, keen on China. He was passionate about China, and he was also he was he was a, a scientist, and he taught、uh, various uh, uh, scientific subjects at Cambridge University. And in fact, when he was an old man、uh, in his sixties, and I was、uh, a student at Cambridge University. I'm amazed we managed to get down there、uh, without falling over ourselves.、Um, uh, when I was a student there, I went to one of his lectures,、um, which was fascinating. The reason I went to it was that it it answered or it attempted to answer a question which seemed to be really important, which is why Chinese science and technology, which During the, the、uh, for thousands of years, had been so far ahead of Western technology. Why it should have dropped back in a matter of only 200, 300 years、uh, until China was far, far behind the West? And this man, Joseph Needham, posed this question very publicly, and、uh, it became known as the Great Needham Question. And、uh, it, it's a It is an important and interesting subject. Joseph Needham came here to Chongqing during the war in 1942 to head、uh, a, a joint Chinese-British、uh, scientific committee.、Um, the thing was that, that Chongqing, in that period, was the the capital of China, the 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 kind of temporary capital where、um, Chiang Kai-shek,、uh, the great Chinese nationalist leader,、um, founder of Taiwan, and so on,、um, had his had his headquarters, had his base here、uh, during the war with the Japanese. Japanese bombed this place unmercifully,、uh, year after year after year during the war, and、uh, there was Joseph Needham helping out and trying to work out the answer to his great question. He became. Gradually, a, a, a Marxist、um, and a, a supporter, indeed, of, of Mao Zedong when Mao Zedong took over,、um, and so his answer was a Marxist-influenced one,、uh, which was that、um, uh, it was really all the fault of Confucianism and Taoism.、Um, I don't know. I'm not sure that I would agree about that. It seems to me that really a society. That is mentally free of of compulsions is likely to do better than a society、uh, which is which has heavy compulsions placed over it, so that people aren't allowed to say certain things, that certain ideas are are, are blocked off. If you're if you're allowed to think the unthinkable all the time, it seems to me you're more likely to be able to come up with ideas about. Uh, the universe and the way that it works, and the way that technology operates, and new ideas. Then, if you're not allowed to, but、uh, these are contentious issues. There's so much life here. It just is breaking out at you from every little alleyway, from every shop. I shall be very sad to see the 18 steps area all gone down. I, I.、Uh, The thing is, the, these these buildings look as though they've been here since the the Tang Dynasty or something. In fact, most of them were built in the 1950s. They've just decayed quite fast, and they're not looked after. And、uh, so we're not again. You know, this is not an area of of outstanding natural beauty. But I would say, I certainly would say that it's an area of great intellectual and personal. Beauty, and it reveals such a, an attractive side of of China and、uh, and the Chinese people. Can we ask? Can we just ask ask him?
哎，您好，您好。你好。嗯。What about the What about the baby? What's the baby? 这是您的那个。Uh, uh, this is my grand、uh, grandson.、Uh, and what's his name? 他、uh, 名字叫什么？露露。露露。真露。哦，正正奴。真露。正奴。正奴。Whatever will this little child see? It is like. So from、uh, from the eighteen steps in Chongqing, a city whom I hope you'll never say you've never heard of again. My great thanks to our translator and helper,、uh, Edora Liang, and for me, John Simpson. Until we meet again, goodbye. Find the stories that interest you at bbc.com/news.